and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Now, what have I got for you today? Well, it isn't an 18 by 18 Sudoku. You'll probably be pleased to hear that. Um, this is a return to one of my favourite sort of alternative types of puzzle. Um, this is a star battle, a three star star battle, no less. Um, and I know a lot, not uh, I know a lot of you love star battle. Heaven knows why it isn't a completely standard form in all newspapers everywhere, but it isn't. And what the world misses out on, cracking the cryptic can provide. Uh, now the puzzle on screen was actually uh, first published back in September 2020. And it's by Oivin Thorsby, uh, who has appeared on the channel before with a Sudoku. But we're going to we're going to take him up on his star battle challenge today. He calls this skirmish in the horsehead nebula, and I have no idea why. I've just put this into our software, so I was I was thinking about the shapes and whether they reminded me of horses' heads. They don't. The only shape that is redolent of anything for me is this one, which looks a bit like Gonzo. Um, that shows the level of my mind. Um, anyway, before we get started with this, and I remind you the rules of Star Battle, which are incredibly simple, a uh, quick mention of our Patreon page uh, before we start. Um, uh, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a site where you can join uh, the Cracking the Cryptic Club uh, for two bucks a month and what we do is we publish a lot of extra content over there so there's extra puzzles, extra videos, extra solves of other puzzles, all sorts of things. Uh, we try and make it as good a value as possible and it's uh, it's why we can continue to do what we do on the main channel um, and I just want to give a shout out today thanks to Harho uh, who became a patron yesterday and it was incredibly generous. So, ha ho, thank you very much from the both of us. We really do appreciate that. Um, now, what what are the rules? Let's get on to star battle. Very simple. We have to place three stars in every row, in every column, and in every region. Um, and we have to do that in such a way that the stars do not touch each other, even diagonally. So if we worked out this was a star, and I'm going to be using colours for stars today, actually that means I have to make a decision, don't I? I am going to make my stars purple. Um, so if this was a star, it, it doesn't just mean you don't have stars in those positions. I'll use green for no stars. It means you can't have a star even touching diagonally as well. So there will be no stars in any of the green cells. And that is all the rules. So it's an incredibly simple rule set and it's an incredibly beautiful puzzle. If you've never tried one before, give this a go. It's I think it's three three stars out of five for difficulty, so I'm hoping it's not going to be monstrous. Um, I shudder to think the times that some of the very world's best will do this puzzle in. Uh, people like Freddie Hand, in fact, drop us a comment, Freddie, if you get it done in under two minutes. That will be impressive, probably, assuming I can't do that. With that, uh, if you want to play, of course, click the link under the video. Now I get to play, let's get cracking, and we can start with what? Well, as I was putting it in the software, I did notice that column one, look, is entirely within one region. So the three stars in this region here, let's highlight the whole region, all of those cells, all of these cells, obviously the three stars must appear in column one or column one won't have three stars. So we can actually render a whole load of the grid green immediately. Um, oh, and there's a little region here. Okay, so there's a tiny little region here. Now, one of the best tips I've got for star battle puzzles, I'm about to reveal the secret of Star Battle, which is that in any 2x2 two two region, like this one, how many stars could we ever put in this region? Well, the answer is one. If we try and put two stars into this region, like that, they will always touch each other, which is really obvious the moment you think about it. But what it means is that for regions like this, we can divide it fairly efficiently into 2x2 two two regions or approximations thereof. So this two by two region, you can see that would be, uh, well, this cell can't be in that region. So we could draw a two by two region like that. And that leaves this domino here. And we know because this region contains three stars that there must be one star in each of these colored portions. And we can probably, well, we can do some things off the back of that. This square could no longer be a star because it would prevent a star in the blue region. This, these two squares can no longer be stars because they would prevent stars in the red region. So we can do that and we can do that, which is a very standard pattern that tends to come, come up a lot in star battles. Aha, now the T region, look at this. We've got a T region here. 
and we need to put three stars in it and they're all going to be in this column which is what's this column 16 <laughs> that's this the the three stars in the t region are all in column 16 and therefore there can't be any more stars in column 16 so we can immediately do that we get a star let's turn the red into purple we remove those squares um and we stop and have to think about it again so what have we now learnt? We have learnt that... Yeah, look at the L region here. There's an L region. Obviously there's got to be three stars in this L region. But I can't put more than two stars into this column because that this has already got a star in it. So the maximum number of stars I can put in that region there is two which means there must be a star in this domino. Now, if there's a star in a domino, we can do exactly what we did up here and surround the domino with greens. The other thing we can do, of course, is that we can apply that logic in reverse. Because there can only be one star in this domino, there must be two stars in this column, which creates the three stars we need in column 17. So those squares become green. That uh, is that good for this re Yeah, okay, it is actually. Look at this funny region here. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but if we were going to try and divide the remaining white cells of this region into two by two regions or portions thereof, this could be one. This could be one, and I'd actually not purple is not the color to use, is it? Uh, that could be one. And this could be one. So there are exactly three partial two by twos that we can use. So that's what we must use. We need to put three stars in. So these squares now become green. We can't put green there or it'll remove all the possibilities for the blue. Those become green. Um, now let's... Is that... Oh... I've just noticed something rather good, which is row 18 of the grid now. I've got to put three stars in it, and there's only three gaps. So I can never put more than one star in this domino, so there must be one in here. Now, if there must be one in here, we can do our two by our domino trick. There can't be a star in any of the squares above it, which places a star in that cell, which places a star here. We can now ring all of this in... Um, in green we know there must be stars in those two cells so we can place greens around those so far so good with this one um, okay so now we've got right okay now we can do Oh, in fact, I could have done this logic before, couldn't I? Sorry, I'm just looking at the perimeter of the grid and noticing there are only three regions in the perimeter. So that means I need to use the nine stars in those three regions to provide three stars in every, well, in row one, row 18, column 18 and column one. So several of the stars need to do double duty. In fact, three of them need to do double duty. And one of them can't do double duty because you can't put a star in this corner. So there must be stars in the other three corners. In fact, I've got two of them. So that must be a star up there. And that's going to allow me to put two stars in here. Then there's one star in here, one star in here, two stars here, and then it's working. Nice. Um, yeah, okay, now I'm tempted actually to look at these two columns because you can see if I look down here, I've got to put a lot of stars into this real estate. You've got to put, I've got one star in this co in column 17, I've got to put six stars all together in column 16 and 17. So these cells here have to I have to put five stars into them so let's see if we can do that one there two there three there oh ah. 
it's it's not bad but it's not perfect that's we know there must be one star in each of those uh, colored regions there but you can see that's not actually developed our logic any further um, hmm, okay so what do we do next we can I'm not terribly happy I can I can delineate all of these regions the black lines are a little bit a little bit weedy aren't they I might put uh, a couple of links under the puzzle therefore in case anyone finds the it a bit difficult to see this region's quite small um, but that can still you know if again I, what I'm notionally doing in my mind here is dividing it into two by twos one two three four so there there is license with that one I've got to put two star. Ah, hang on. Yeah, look, I've got to put two stars in these these yellow cells at the top. So I can't, for example, if I was to put if this square was a star, it would rule all three of those out, and I could only put one star in the reach. So that's definitely green, and therefore this is green as well. If this was a star, it would rule out those three squares. I'd have to put two stars into just two cells. So. Um, want so now okay so what does this mean I've got I've also got to think about this region so the thing the reason that this region has caught my eye by the way is this string of cells here I can't put I can't put three stars into this region because there's already one star in the row. Oh, look, there's there's stuff going on here, actually. There is stuff going on because I've also got to be careful about this column. I don't know what column number this is, but it's already got two stars in it. One, two... Yeah, okay, so we can prove this square is not a star. Let's look at this square and think about whether it could be a star. If this square is a star, the, re the red region next to it has to have a star here now, which completes the three stars for this column. But we've now absolutely broken this region, because where can we put the stars in this region around it now? We can't looking at the purples we've just put in there couldn't be stars in any of those cells we can't put a star here because that would be a fourth star in its column so now there are no stars in those cells which means there have to be three stars in this run of cells here and that puts four stars in row two so all of that means that this square here is most certainly not a star and therefore its other one must be a star that gets rid of some of the stuff at the top Oh, and in fact now I've only got three stars left, or three cells left to contain two stars in row one. So both of those must be stars, which is lovely, because that means they aren't stars. That means there's definitely a star in this domino, so we do our domino trick, rule a star out of these cells. And now this, this shape is even more restricted, because I can't put two stars into this region. So the question to ask, I think, is can you put zero stars can it, is it possible, in fact we can put some greens in there anyway, is it possible there are zero stars in here? If there are zero stars in here, I have to put three stars into those cells. That's definitely not possible because then I couldn't put a star in the red. So there must be a star in here, I'll make that orange therefore to indicate one star in that region. Therefore there must be two stars in these cells. And again we can't put the two stars into those into here and here because that will rule out the star altogether from the red so there must be a star here and that completes this column so this is not a star this is a star this is not a star this column let's surround the purple and complete the column you can see that's going to do work at the bottom as well gives us a star here gives us a star here this column now has three stars in it turn all those green 
um, Turnham Green popular tube station uh, now I need one two I need a third star in this region it's got to go there put some greens around it this row has got its three stars all right albeit that we don't really know where this one is but we do know it's not there lovely absolutely lovely and not, so far not brutally difficult um, so where do we go next we can where do we go next we've got right it looks like we can do something with this region now because there's more constraint on it than there was the maximum number of stars in this region I've just drawn in there these four cells is one because I've already got two stars in the row now if there was not one in these there'd have to be three in the, this region which is impossible so there is one in here but there's exactly one so we'll make that red actually no I'll make it blue because it stands out a bit more from the orange there must be one in this region and one in this region and therefore we surround it again using our domino trick um, we can complete the rest of this row in green because we've approximately placed the three stars and we can okay now we are now it looks like it's going to get tricky again doesn't it so we've got to think harder let's wind up my brain um, ah, this column has got two stars in it so there's only one star in that string of cells okay right now that's very interesting because now if you look at these cells we're going to have to count this but I just want to show you the regions I'm looking at I'm looking at these three regions here it's really it's a bit difficult to see but there's one region there looks a bit like a snail um, there's this region which looks a bit like an F that's been turned around and plonked down on its side and there's this region which sort of I don't know what that looks like a squiggle those three regions there need to have nine stars in, in them obviously three three regions three stars a region nine stars but we've just drawn a dirty great hole right in the middle of this where this those cells can have no stars in them at all and this string can only have one star in so in the rest of this that region plus this region I've got to put eight stars now that seems too many um, let's just see how many we can put in we can put one there two there three there four there five so there's a maximum of five in this shape so I need to, I need to put at least three in this region Ah, oh, this is not this is lovely I need to put at least three stars in this region well how am I going to do that um, you can see I can put one in that region let's make that blue I can put one maximum in that region and I can put one there and that's the so you know I have no latitude this will have to be a star let's make it purple and surround it therefore in greens now we know that this blue domino needs to have a star in it so there's no star below it there in that domino which places another star make that one green just checking the columns yeah because look this column now this column here I don't know what what's it going to be column 15 I think that's got three stars in it so those 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 and those all turn green which means we can fill in a load more stars so those two have become stars and then we can fill in more greens to complete the column we've created a domino of blue there so let's surround that with a couple of greens okay I can't see what else to do there we can probably do more if I if I get more brains um, I can't see how to do that but we can do more in this shape this has got to be a star so let's put that in and surround it with green that gives this red domino here needs to be a star in one of those so we can green those which creates another star at the top surround the star with green 
Uh, this is going to get tricky now. <laughs> this is going to get tricky because I know that there's a star in this red domino and therefore I know there is no star in these two cells. But when I take those out, I'm disconnecting my orange region. So now I've got to remember there's one star in these orange cells here. I think I can remember that. I think I will, I will wing it. Um, Oh no, hang on, hang on. I might not need to wing it because the F region, how many stars can I put in the F region at all? One I've got in, I need two more. Well, I can't put more than one in this domino. And the only other cell that can be a star is this one. So this is a star. Let's make, surround it with green. I know one of these two is a star now. So this becomes green and this becomes green. Oh no, that's just disconnected my oranges even more. Um, so I know there's a star in one of these two. Oh, but hang on. Am I miscounting this or have I got three stars now? I've got one star, two stars, three stars in, in the snail region. So I don't need any more stars slightly disconcerted by the outline the black outlines of the region but that definitely looks like it's like that to me so i don't think they can be stars that means this is a star this is a st oopsie that's a star this is a star and this is a star in order to keep the stars apart the rest of it all becomes green we've now got a whole variety of stars in this region um whole nebula of stars um, okay can anyone see what it what it means uh, <laughs> I'm sure there's a way of seeing what it means I just don't know if No, I can't actually see anything immediately good off the back of this. Although it did feel like that was a really good series of deductions. So, ah, but maybe I can use this region. It's a slightly dull region, this to describe, but it's this one. Now, the top row of it must have a star in it. Because if it doesn't, I have to put three stars into this uh, sort of large domino and I can't put three stars into that shape because there's only one two by two and one domino in it so there must be a star in this string of cells which means the rest of this row cannot be another star which removes stars from these two cells and plonks a star in here which plonks a star in here which should do quite a lot of work I think we can now ring everything in green that's not star there's now one star there Ah, but look, column uh, 17 has now got all its stars in it. So that's green. All these turn green. This is now a star. That's a star. And that must be a star. And we've now... So actually, this has gone remarkably well. I've now done... I've done all of these columns. I need a third star in this region. So that's a star. Now look along row one, four of the grid. I've got one, two, that's a third star. So these two turn green. That becomes a star. Complete the column with the greens. Oh, sorry, the row with greens because we know approximately where the three go. You can do the same with the orange region here. Those two have got to be green. Now let's turn our attention to this sort of large rectangle because we know we've got to put two stars into this. So this, neither of these cells can be a star. If either of these are a star, you can only put one star in the region. So those are green. We'll make those red. We'll make these blue, which means these two turn green. Once, oh look, yeah, this is interesting. In the in this uh, red and blue dominoes now if we count the number of stars in these rows we've got one two three four five six which is exactly how many we need so those and those have got to turn green there we've got the three stars in this row all of these turn green 
I'm heading down towards the Gonzo region. Um, maybe actually I can do something with Gonzo. You can't put a Gonzo can't have an eye. If if Gonzo has a star in his eye there, he'd ring all of those squares in green, and you could only put one more star in Gonzo's beak or whatever Gonzo is. Does he have a a trunk? I don't know what even what Gonzo is, but you know what I mean. This is definitely green. Um, okay, so now let's have a look. What have we done? Have we got how many? Oh, hang on a minute. How many stars have we got in this region? Not many is the answer. In fact, in fact, the answer is none. I've not put any stars into this region yet. So I've got to put... So there must be a star in there. There must be a star in here. And there must be a star in there. Which means we can ring that with green. That gives us three stars in this row, so those two, those two turn green. That's therefore a star. These are not stars. There's no stars here. We've got three stars approximately placed in row six, so that's not a star. Two, three. And okay, and now we pause again while we take stock. We can. What can we do? The answer is I don't know. Oh, although I've got another massive region. Ah, look, 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 look. This strange region sort of going through the grid here is another region I've not put any stars in. But I've got one hole there, a domino there, and one hole there. So each one of these must each one of these holes must contain a star. So those are definitely stars. Surround them in green. And this domino here needs to have one star in it, so that becomes green, and that becomes green. Right, so now look, I've got two stars in this row, which means all of these squares can contain a maximum of one star. Which means I have to put two stars in this region into this run of three cells, so they must be in those two positions. We can therefore do that. I must be close to finishing this now, I think. Um, this star is seeing that cell, so we can finish off this one. That gives us three stars in this column. Let's finish that off with green. One, two, we need a third star in this region. Fill that one in. That removes those two squares from being stars. We place a star here. That gives us three stars in column six. So these cease to be stars. All of these cease to be stars. Gonzo has now become incredibly constrained. Um, yeah, in fact, maybe that's the easiest way to crack this at this point. Let me... I'm just having a stare just to see if I can see anything really obvious, but oh, well, no, it's not really obvious, but no, in fact, it's not obvious at all. But th these these two columns here, I've got to put six stars into these columns. Now, how many can I put in? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh, and that could be one or that could be one. No, that's completely useless. Okay, let's look at Gonzo. So Gonzo's beak has now been ruled out from having a star in it. So we've got to fit three stars into the rest of him. Well, that can be one, that can be two, and this can be three. And therefore we can remove that one by the domino rule, which places a star in the corner of Gonzo. This 
Uh, that doesn't actually seem to do anything. Well, it gets us some greens though. Let's put greens around him. Ah, now look, column one and column two need two more stars. So there must be a star in that region and there must be a star in this region. But there can't be, this is great, there can't be more than one more star in column one. And we know it's this one. So these two squares are not stars, which places a star here. That means this is not a star. That means this is a star, which means this is a star. And I think that might be the final piece of the nebula, so to speak. I've got all my stars in this column. Get rid of that one. I need three stars in this column, so that's got to be a star now, which means that is not a star. I've got three stars in the row. Um, I need three stars in this column, and I've got one, two, which means this has to be a star, which means those are not stars. This star sees that one. I think that's been there for a while. Sorry, I could have done that. That fixes another star here. Three stars in this row. That fixes that this one isn't. So this is a star. This is not a star. This is not a star. We've got three in the row. Oh, goodness. I've got to put three stars in this row. I've got nothing in it yet. So that must be a star. That can be. That must be a star. That must be a star. That finishes off lots of stuff. There we go. So this one, that look, can't be a star. Now I'm hoping if we look at this region, one, two. Yeah, I haven't, I don't think I've put three stars into it. I've got three in Gonzo. One, two. Yeah, this must be the last one. That complete, yeah, in fact, look, row, row 17 was the easier way of looking at that. Therefore, this is not a star and this is a star. And I think that is the complete solution to Thorsby's puzzle. Very, very nice star battle for a change. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the change of scene. Um, I do enjoy doing a different type of puzzle every now and again, but only if you know I'm assured that they really are superbly good. And this certainly seemed to me to fit the bill. Um, so thanks very much to Thorsby. And yeah, I think it looks right. And um, yeah, we'll see you later on for another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.